you mentioned uh, possibly wanting to propose an action item. What would that have been? Well, I tell you, it's going to the action item is going to be dependent on dependent on what it is that comes out. But the the critical piece of information that I'm waiting for is the analysis by BKD. Well, tell us what you found out. Tell us if you need additional information. We'll ask the LPNL board to get it to you. To me, there, there's a lack of cooperation here. And, and I, quite frankly, the, the thing I was going to suggest was that the council create a three-member subcommittee of three council members and get a conference committee going with four members of the LPNL board, get our city manager together along with with the CEO of LPNL, let's sit down, what do you need to straighten out this mess? And the board would direct the, their CEO, we would direct our city manager, whatever information is needed, get it out in the open, get it to the BKD if that's what the city manager wants. And if it's within her authority to do so, according to our city attorney, you know, that's up to him. Can you speak to this audit that we're looking at and timeline and what they're looking at? Well, the city manager had sent an email out saying it'd take about two weeks and that it was going to start on Tuesday. So I think we might even be able to get the whole issue resolved or at least an opinion issued by BKD by the second meeting, uh, second council meeting in March.